kitchen item, great cookbook, which we're going to start with, and lots of things in between. Yummy crab cakes coming up in the show. So let's get started with Kitchen Unlimited. We do this every Tuesday at 10 o'clock, right before Denim & Company. All right, let me invite in my first guest for the show, which is my very good friend, Marie Louise Keir, who we were talking about with Jeannie Bice. And wait, we have to do a twirl. Look at this adorable outfit. Fit. You are just the cutest thing ever. Oh, Welcome to the you. show. Great to be here. Um, we're going to talk about this great spread of food, which all of which comes from this wonderful cookbook called 101 Easy Entertaining Recipes. Listen, I'm not the greatest cook in the world, and I like to do things fast. Mm -hmm. I don't always like to, you know, do the shortcut of getting stuff that's pre-made at the store. I like to make things of my own, but I want them to be easy and fast. If somebody says, hey, let's get together tonight, and I've only mm. got like two hours to plan something, that's what this cookbook is all about. It's great little appetizers. It's great little um, desserts quick little entrees and 101 of them. So this is one of those gooseberry patch books. What are those all about? Well, you know what? This was started by two friends from Ohio, backyard friends who had a love for the country. Uh -huh. And they started actually selling country things and it grew into a business. And Gooseberry Patch customers right. actually send in these recipes. So these are really the best of the best of women who just love to cook. And there's some more complicated recipes in some of our other cookbooks, but right. these are basically fast and easy. These are the kind of recipes where you're out golfing with your friends. They say, oh, why don't you come on over? And yeah. you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to make? And this is quick. Yeah, quick and okay. easy, but really delicious and things that you would have in your pantry. Right. This Tried and true, good stuff. This. So if you don't have, like my brother Matt used to look look in the pantry and there would be nothing in there that I could see and he would whip up something great. Mm -hmm. That's what this is all about. So let's take a look at what we've got on the table. All right, you know what? I'm going to start here. I'm going to pour you some stuff punch. Stuff looks delicious. This is rosemary, lemon, okay. pineapple punch and you have a glass of it Ooh, right there. Simple and try. quick, uber refreshing, pineapple okay. juice, lemon juice, ginger mm. ale, rosemary mm. infused in that. Isn't that not delicious? Well, that is like for a, like a bridal shower. Yeah, it's it's or wonderful. Or a baby shower or just anything. And you want to put something together mm. last minute. Let's start right down here in front. We've okay. got smoky vegetable pizza. All right. Boy, if you can get frozen bread dough or you can find a store like Wegmans that has pizza dough, uh -huh. you just break that up, you make these little rounds, it has smoked mm. gouda cheese on it, and the vegetables get all nice and roasted in here. That looks you yummy. You can have this done in about 30 minutes. Okay. That's what we love. 30 right. minutes, really quick. How about this down here? Mm. You want a fast, quick, and easy dessert. Cereal treats with the marshmallows, chocolate covered peanuts, maraschino cherries, and then it has a drizzle of white Golly. and dark chocolate. It's called and it Chocolate and it looks so stuff. fancy. It looks and it's so not. fancy schmancy. No. Real something quick to take to a mm -hmm. pool party if you want to. Right. Up here we have crab cakes. Mm, yummy. Crab cakes are, believe it or not, so easy to make. These are golden, they're crispy, and they're delicious, and you just whip them together in an instant. Delicious. Love those. What are these little thingies? This is my fabulous go-to recipe. This okay. is three cheese artichoke bites. Mm. It has three different kinds of cheeses in it, and, and um, marinated artichokes, cheddar, mozzarella, Parmesan cheese, and you make these in those little mini muffin pans. Mm. Whip these together, okay, whip look. them hot out of the oven, and they are so savory. Look at the inside. So delicious and so fast. Yum! That looks great I know. and way better than the ones that you would buy ready-made at the store. Yum mm. yum face. Carolyn yum yum face. Mm. <laughs> okay. You don't have to force me to do that with that item. So this mm -mm -mm. is something you're going to want to go too quick. You just keep your artichoke, mm. uh, your artichoke hearts in the pantry. You get some cheese in there and you've Boy, got these made. Boy, that's good and it's chewy. Mmm, it's yummy. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Down here in front, it is summer. It is the perfect time to make skewers. These look beautiful. They're fresh and they're tasty. And it has an amazing dip that's made with yogurt and poppy seeds and a little bit of honey. So you mm. can keep it, keep it light and keep it simple, but also have some fruit, which is great in the summertime. Delish. And that is that rumaki right there? That's a, those are actually called savory bacon bites. God, you that make looks great. these on the grill. You take the fresh sweet onions, which are really popular uh -huh. this time of year. You wrap bacon around them. They've got brown sugar, balsamic mm. vinegar. You let them marinate for about an hour, and you put them on the grill, and you've got instant deliciousness. And what are these? That looks like a different That's yummy a garlic thing. dip. That's just basically made with cream cheese. It's got some okay. chopped vegetables, a bunch of different kinds of herbs in there. Okay. Look how pretty it is when you just, maybe you want to blanch your vegetables to bring out the color. Mm -hmm. Pop them into that dip. Keep them in the refrigerator. You've got great, crispy, chilled vegetables with a savory, delicious dip. You guys, and look, let's just look at the book again for a second. By the way, it's, did I mention it's 14? $15. And yeah. these are recipes you'll actually use. This is one of those cookbooks that you just like stick next to your toaster and not over even on the cookbook shelf because you'll use it all the time. But look at the great pictures. And every single recipe 
has a picture, not just like, you know, some of them or a handful of them. And so you can tell exactly what the food's going to look like so you know exactly what you want to make. Don't those look delish? And I found what's really neat about this, we go to a lot of parties, especially in the summertime, Yum. and the hostess who has these great ideas, a lot of the recipes in here, you're like, oh my gosh, I had that at somebody's party. She wouldn't share the recipe with me, and now <laughs> I have it for myself. And I find oh my myself gosh. looking through this, even if you want to do a chilled out soup, or you want to make little, okay. like a little, yeah, those look really good. Look at this, mini ham and Swiss cups. Okay. Wouldn't you just love to make that just as a snack? Yes. I mean, even if you weren't having anybody coming over. And these, these are, recipes are great recipes that are really going to appeal to everybody. You don't have to worry about finding ingredients yeah. you don't have or having somebody worry this about, punch gee, well, I like this. Well, I mm. like this little weird ingredient. No, these are fresh ingredients that pretty much everybody likes. Universal love. We don't have very many of these left to go around. Brian just told me in my now, ear. Who would think? Did you make those? Those are tortilla crisps. No, what, did you make could those? Take, I, I wish I could say that I made them, but I did not. <laughs> Le what lovely Lisa made them today. But they're made from the book? They're made in the book, and they're tortilla crisps. Taking just those basic plain tortillas, mm. cutting them up, and then you could add all different kinds of I things. I thought you brush bought them with, at the grocery store. Brush them with oil or butter, and then put things on like poppy seeds or, mm. or garlic. Or, aren't those good? They're way better than the kind aren't at the grocery good? store. And those are great with the dip on there, and there's other mm. things in the book that you can make as Yummy. well that'll go with those. Oh wait, what is this? Down here, those are the Yum. Uh, those are the caramel coffee tassies. Mm. You make up a cream cheese dough, put mm. in those little mini things ahead of time. The inside filling is creamy rich caramel and then it has oh, a please. chocolate or a chocolate coffee infused whipped cream that goes on the top of it. Mmm. Yum. All right, we're busy yum. on the lines. Yum, yum, yum. This is a great book. Mm -hmm. And everything in it is really good. Mm. It's not like you have to flip through. You know how some cookbooks you flip through like six pages. Oh, there's a good one. Ten more pages. Oh, there's a good one. It's like every page. And you can see a picture of every single thing. Yes. And I think mm. a lot of the recipes, especially for summertime, when they do things like your bruschettas, mm -hmm. tomatoes are going to be nice and fresh and in season. So if you're somebody mm. who likes to use really fresh ingredients, or maybe you're somebody who just likes to use things that you have in your pantry, there's a little bit for everybody in there. But be the hostess with the most. Let's just end on this item. <laughs> because Great. wouldn't you love to know how to make your own stuffed mushrooms? Mmm, mm -hmm. yummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we actually have, um, a lot of these are gone. Oh my gosh. 1,500 just flew out the door. Yeah, it's summertime. Guests are coming to dinner. We have only 1,000 <laughs> left. Grab yours. Look, it doesn't take up any space, and you'll use it a lot. Yeah. Love you. Love you, too. I love your dress. Thank you. It's super cute. Very pink today. All right. Whoops. <laughs> I just dropped a fork on the floor. Here, I'm going to hand you. You can mean? have all my stuff. Oh, I don't know. It's probably one of my dogs. They heard that, and they ran over.